everyone and welcome to my new doll repaint video and today guys I want to repaint one of those big Disney princess styling doll heads and this time I've bought this beautiful princess Anna from Frozen hat I've already repainted Elsa I don't remember a year ago or two years ago so today it's Anna's time I think it's a perfect doll to repaint in December and like always in these makeovers my goal is to make this doll looking super realistic like try to imagine how would Anna look if she was a real girl so let's give her a makeover let's remove her face with pure acetone and then draw it all from scratch it's gonna be fun I really love these big head makeovers so let's repaint one of them today so guys like always in the beginning I have to remind you to subscribe to my channel hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos I upload new makeovers every week Friday or every second week Friday depends on the size of the project so and of course please don't forget to support my art on YouTube with your likes if you enjoy my videos and this being said let's start working so this is the doll from Close. she really looks like Anna from the Disney movie and this honestly worries me a little bit because her face is not very realistic, I mean the proportions. It's very cartoonish with this tiny nose and the cartoonish smile, so I have no idea if she's going to look good in the end with my more realistic style of drawing. But yeah, we will see it in the end and for the rest she has a very nice uh, sculpted outfit, it's not a cheap painted one. I really like this part. The hair accessories are quite standard for these dolls, but they're all frozen themed and that's nice. Her hair is very similar to the hair of other dolls from this collection. There is not that much hair, but the color blend is very pretty with this light and darker ginger hair mixed together. I really like it. So, and now it's time to remove her original face using pure acetone and then we'll start the transformation. face is gone I sprayed with Mr. Super Clear sealant it will make the face matte and kind of paper like so I will be able to draw on it using pencils and soft pastels and it will also protect my work because I will apply multiple layers of pencils and pastels and yes I'm going to use this spray between the layers to protect my work in total I think I will use around I don't know 17 to 20 layers of the sealant for sure on this doll I begin with sketching her eyes and eyebrows using watercolor pencils, then I protect this layer with the sealant and then I start working on her face using soft pastels from brand Pan Pastels to create some more realistic dimension.
When her skin tone looks good to me, I take my pencils again and I start drawing her eyes, eyebrows and lips. These dolls are really fun to work on because they're quite big and you can draw everything in quite a normal size. It's not like the tiny eyes of Monster High and Barbie dolls. So I really enjoy these type of projects from time to time. I'm done with her face, I add shadows to her outfit as well, it will make everything more three-dimensional. spraying freckles onto her face because Anna's supposed to have freckles and this technique gives the most realistic result in my opinion just spraying on a very liquid paint with a hard brush So now it's finally time to work on her hair and you know the condition of her bangs scares me a little bit to be honest, just look at it, it's a disaster. But anyway, I think hot air of a hair dryer will help me bring her hair back to a perfect condition.
is how it looks in the end, not bad at all, the bangs are perfect, the rest is also very nice. So now let's add false lashes, apply glossy varnish to horizon lips and then we'll take a look at the end result pictures. So this is the finished doll guys and I will tell you honestly it was suddenly quite a challenging doll this week because of her cartoonish face, because of these facial proportions. I wanted her to look more realistic but still I didn't want to make her look, I don't know, strange because of this combination of cartoonish facial features and more realistic style of drawing. But I think she looks really good in the end. She looks both like a real girl and also like Anna from the Disney movie with her very recognizable features. So I'm very, very, very happy with the end result, even though I wasn't convinced about it in progress almost till the very end. Her hair also looks very cute. The condition of her bangs after I removed the plastic terrified me for a moment. But everything looks very good right now. So everything is quite perfect despite me being worried and scared all the time during this project. And what do you think guys about my version of Anna? Please let me know in the comments down below. I will be there to discuss it with you. And if you want to buy this doll, you can find her for sale on eBay for three days. The link is like always in the description box under this video. So please check it out if it's something for you. So guys, and that was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you've enjoyed it today. And if so, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. And of course, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. So I will see you very soon, normally next week, Friday. It's gonna be something very special again. Yeah, and that was it for today. Have a nice weekend, guys. Love you. Bye.